Okay, so this is the every point data and right off the bat, you'll notice that I'm getting a lot more around the vehicle and on the building and I thought that's interesting. But this is now where we are combining the LiDAR data from the phone with photogrammetry. So it's capturing video and it's processing those frames uh, to help reconstruct and recreate the model. The one thing you'll notice right off the bat when you look at this model is how crisp it is. The other thing that I'll note here is that the colors appear to be more true uh, even when compared to the laser scanner and that just has to do with you know the video or the sensor that's in there um, the data on the side of the vehicle looks really good um, not a lot of noise there's noise down here in the bottom and I found that in scanning vehicles um, there is a bit down at the bottom here typically with the every point app but um, you know, easily uh, removable there. But I, I really like how the sides look. Um, on the roof here, now I was lifting up the phone to get up here, but you'll notice that I get some pretty good data and, and you know, from the LiDAR and it seems uh, full or, or relatively full. And I really wasn't trying all that hard and you saw how quickly I went around this car and I did three loops. Now unlike the LiDAR data you'll see that I don't get any doubling up of the doors. Um, you'll see that back here it looks very very crisp. So that's good too. Now on the scale on the ground here you'll see that I have 6.13. So on our uh, laser scanner data, we had about 6.09. So we're about four centimeters higher. So on the uh, iPhone uh, app, LiDAR, just the LiDAR alone, we were about four or five centimeters lower and here we're about four or five centimeters higher. So uh, neither appears to be accurate, um, uh, highly accurate anyway, uh, right out of the gate in terms of just the some of the scaling here. So there's a scaling issue and some of that needs to be corrected.